Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Tuesday's Thought for the Day. Yesterday, from Luke 24, we heard of a great moment of revelation for two disciples on the road to Emmaus. Jesus makes himself known at the breaking of bread with them. They now recognise who it is who's been travelling with them. But actually, a great moment of revelation had also come earlier for these two disciples. That was when Jesus had opened the scriptures to them and revealed that the Messiah had to suffer before entering his glory. These two disciples now recognise how important that was. Verse 32, they asked each other, were not our hearts burning within us while talk with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? These two disciples had sensed that something special was happening as their companion had opened up the Bible to them. But only after their eyes were opened now could they see why this man had opened up the scriptures so clearly to them. Jesus had treated them to an incredible tour of the Old Testament. They had received insight into God's plan of salvation as a result. And the encouragement for us is this. If the risen Christ, on that first Easter day, made himself known through the Bible, then he will continue to do so today. We need to have the confidence that opening up the Bible with people would lead them to faith in the risen Jesus. Now that doesn't look very exciting or remarkable for some. A group of people studying the Bible in a home group or youth group may just look very ordinary. But that is the way God has chosen. To bring people to faith and then to grow in faith. And it's the reading and teaching of God's word that will make people's hearts burn to be on fire for Jesus, so to speak. So I hope that your hearts burn with excitement as you read the Bible, whether by yourselves or with others. Reading the Bible is not just a head thing, but a heart thing too. Through the scriptures, we hear the voice of the risen Lord Jesus speaking to us, drawing us into fellowship with him. And it should set your heart on fire for Jesus when you realise from the Bible that Jesus had to die for your salvation. It should set your heart on fire for Jesus when you realise from the Bible that Jesus has risen. He really has conquered death. Sadly, we can get too more, so more excited about a football team or our friendships or fun than fellowship with Jesus. So let's be willing to dig deep into the Bible and pray for God to open our eyes to the treasures within them. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for opening our eyes to the truth of Jesus in the Bible. Please set our hearts on fire for him and open the eyes of non-believers to Jesus too. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good Tuesday. See you tomorrow.